dear children this is the third part of the lesson print culture the effect of print technology on new visual culture this is given in your textbook page number 171 with the setting up of an increasing number of printing presses visual images could be easily reproduced in multiple copies painters like raja ravi verma produced images for mass circulation cheap prints and calendars easily available in the bazaar could be bought even by the poor to decorate the walls of their homes or places of work these prints began shaping popular ideas about modernity and tradition religion and politics and society and culture next topic is caricatures and cartoons this is also from the same page number that is page number 171 caricatures and cartoons by the 1870s caricatures and cartoons were being published in journals and newspapers commenting on social and political issues some caricatures ridiculed the educated indians fascination with the western taste and clothes while others expressed the fear of social change there were imperial caricatures lampooning nationalists as well as nationalist cartoons criticizing imperial rule next one is the effect of print culture on the life of the women in india it's given in page number 172 of your textbook lives and feelings of women began to be written in particularly vivid and intense ways women's reading therefore increased enormously in middle class homes liberal husbands and fathers began educating their women folk at home and send them to schools when women schools were set up in the cities and towns after the mid 19th century many journals published writings by women and explained why women should be educated they also carried a syllabus and attached suitable reading matter which could be used for home based schooling the impact of print on women in india again in page number 172 since social reforms and novels had already created a great interest in women's lives and emotions there was also an interest in what women would have to say about their own lives so from the 1860s a few bengali women like kailash bashni devi wrote books highlighting the experiences of women about how women were imprisoned at home kept in ignorance forced to do hard domestic labor and treated unjustly by the very own people they served in the 1880s tara bai shinde and pandita rama bai wrote with passionate anger about the miserable lives of upper caste hindu women especially widows the next topic is the impact of the print on the poor people it's given in page number 174 of your textbook very cheap small books were brought to markets in the 19th century madras towns and sold at crossroads allowing poor people traveling to markets to buy them Public libraries were set up from the early 20th century, expanding the access to books. These libraries were located mostly in cities and towns, and at times in prosperous villages. For rich local patrons, setting up a library was a way of acquiring prestige. How did print discuss the issues of social reform? again it's given in page number 174 
From the late 19th century, issues of caste discrimination began to be written about in many printed tracts and essays. Jyotiba Phule, the Maratha pioneer of low caste protest movements, wrote about the injustices of the caste system in his Gulamgiri. In the 20th century, B. R. Ambedkar in Maharashtra and E. V. Ramaswamy Naikar in Madras, better known as Periyar, wrote powerfully on caste and their writings were read by people all over India. The next one, same page number 174, the last paragraph. What was the impact of print on workers in the factories? Workers in factories were too overworked and lacked the education to write much about their experiences. Kashi Baba, a Kanpur mill worker, wrote and published Chote or Bade Ka Sawal in 1938 to show the link between caste and class exploitation. Next one, the poems of another Kanpur mill worker who wrote under the name of Sudarshan Chakra between 1935 and 1955 were brought together and published in a collection called Sachi Kavitae. By the 1930s, Bangalore cotton mill workers set up libraries to educate themselves following the example of Bombay workers. These were sponsored by social reformers who tried to restrict excessive drinking among the workers, experiment to bring literacy and sometimes to propagate the message of nationalism among the workers. The next topic is Vernacular Press Act. It's given in page number 175 of your textbook. In the year 1878, the Vernacular Press Act was passed. It was on the model of Irish press laws. It provided the government with extensive rights to censor reports and editorials in the vernacular press. From now on, the government kept a regular track of the vernacular newspapers and published in different provinces. When a report was judged as seditious, the newspaper was warned and if the warning was ignored, the press was liable to be seized and the printing machinery confiscated. Now the next topic explained how the print culture led to the growth of nationalism in India. It's given in page number 175 of your textbook last paragraph. Despite repressive measures, nationalist newspapers grew in numbers in all parts of India. They reported on colonial misrule and encouraged nationalist activities. Attempts to throttle nationalist criticism provoked militant protest. This in turn led to a renewed cycle of persecution and protest. When Punjab revolutionaries were deported in 1907, Bal Tilak wrote with great sympathy about them in his Kesari. This led to his imprisonment in 1908, provoking in turn widespread protest all over India. The important features of manuscripts in ancient India, it's given in page number 167 of your textbook. India had a very rich and old tradition of handwritten manuscripts in Sanskrit, Arabic, Persian, as well as in various vernacular languages. Manuscripts were copied on palm leaves or on handmade paper. Pages were sometimes beautifully illustrated. They would be either pressed between wooden covers or sewn together to ensure preservation. Manuscripts continued to be produced till well after the introduction of print down to the late 19th century. The limitations of manuscript in ancient India is given in page number 168 of your textbook. Manuscripts however were highly expensive and fragile. They had to be handled carefully and they could not be read easily as the script was written in different styles. 
so manuscripts were not widely used in everyday life even though pre-colonial bengal had developed an extensive network of village primary schools students very often did not read text they only learned to write teachers dictated portions of text from memory and students wrote them down many thus became literate without ever actually reading any kinds of text dear children seven questions are given here questions are given along with the page numbers these page numbers are taken from your textbook so please write these questions in the notebook so the first question is who invented the printing press how did he develop the printing technology this is given in page number 157 of your textbook the first paragraph is answered now question number 2 how had the earliest printing technology developed in the world explain with examples the answer is given in page number 154 of your textbook the first and second paragraph when you read you will understand now the next question in what three ways did the printed books at first closely resemble the written manuscripts again the answer is given in page number 157 second paragraph the fourth question how did the knowledge of woodblock printing come to europe explain answer is given in page number 156 first paragraph next question why couldn't the production of handwritten manuscripts satisfy the ever increasing demand for books give any three reasons the answer is given again in page number 156 of your textbook now question number 6 what was the effect of print technology on new visual culture of cartoons and caricatures the answer is given in page number 171 last paragraph is the answer now question number 7 write a short note on martin luther and the protestant reformation the answer is given in page number 160 of your textbook the answer is the last paragraph 